21. f to the n plus 3 over f to the n plus 1. I would suggest starting 21 and 22. We actually see these come back later in the module as well. And the way that I like to do these when it's not as easy or clear or identifiable which exponent is bigger. And on this one, maybe you could say, well, the top one looks bigger. But um, as these get more complicated, what I like to do, and I'm going to do it here just to start to prep for this, is I do keep the base the same and subtract the exponents, and I do top minus bottom. I know that looks crazy. Thanks for writing this down. I think this works uh, all the time versus developing a strategy that only works some of the time. Because later in the module, we are going to see negative exponents creep in. And for today, for the most part, we are avoiding most of those. All right, so what do we have? We have f to the n plus 3 minus n minus 1. We got to distribute that, which is f to the n plus, or sorry, n minus n is no n's, and 3 minus 1 is 2. f squared. We don't even need to mess with the idea of the fraction. We just do top minus bottom. So moral of the story is when we have numbers, integers that are easier or whole numbers to identify for the exponent, um, we can subtract them in an order that suits us. As we embark on variable exponents or expressions, the best way to do it is to just go with top minus bottom. And later in the module, we will also see how to fix any negative exponents. All right, let's see if we can type this in. Should actually be pretty easy, just f squared. There we go.